Hello people, we're back. It's episode 61 of the Solvent Records podcast. I might drop. And it's quite warm in this room. A grey t-shirt, George, might have been a bad choice. I keep my arms down like by my sides at all times. But we are starting episode 61 with a tune that is out right now. It's RWTS or Rough With The Smooth For Long from the brand newly announced Hugh Hardy album Juice Box featuring label mates Inmost and vocal stylings of Kojo. Check it out. This is out right now on Solvent Records. And that aforementioned Hugh Hardy album is coming out on the 28th of July. You can go pre-order, pre-save, all that's jazz. On the Solvent Records um, Facebook page, Instagram, Linktree off Instagram, link in bio, all that stuff. Can confirm 13 tracks of Pure Fire. going to be talking more about the album later on in the show and I think I already cleared it with Joe I can play you some super unreleased not going to be part of the single campaign dub plates just like I did for the Vision Ovi album tune play now is a new one on Critical. Of course it's from Particle. The tune's called Let It Go. George is there. He loves everything Critical, don't you George? And I know I say this at the start of every show, it feels like ages since I've done the last show, but actually it's real this time because the last show we did was in this room, but it was like chat show format with Richard Ginobi talking about his album. So if you haven't seen that, um, I encourage you to check it out because it's less of me attempting to do this and more just chatting with Rich Rijinobi, asking about his album, get a deeper insight into the album making process, what all the tracks mean. Talk a bit more about Rich and his album, which you can see behind me um, a little bit later on in the show, including the launch event that we had at the start of this month. But this tune bringing to you now is, it's not even out. This is sent to me by Tom Floham and Shanks from Baseline Collective. Um, Tune's called, no, that's not this one, shit. (laughs) If I get my notes right, this is Raphael Tamski called Brighter. Floam and Shanks coming next tune after this.
good start to episode 61, eh, George? Yeah, this Raphael Itamski, tune's called Brighter, out on Blue Sapphire Recordings. My wife Charlotte actually put me onto this one. Nice summery, summery time tune for what is a sweltering summer. This tune is sent to me by Floem and Shanksy, or Shanks, I should say. The tune's called Ready For Tonight. It's not even out. As I said before, guys from the Baseline Collective. Shanks sent it to me and said, what do you think? Would you play it on the show? So yeah, enjoy. And if you haven't seen any of the Baseline Collective events, then I think you've been living under a rock. I think the most recent show they had was with Danny Bird and a bunch of other sick DJs. So go check them out because all the uh, proceeds and stuff go to Mind and similar charities. So go support. need this for this episode George I'm gonna be losing a lot out of the face especially if I do any more embarrassing brain farts like I did earlier with the tune getting the tune order wrong I think the reason is I've actually prepped for this tune at this show like a week ago and got all the track list ready and haven't really looked at it since The reason we had to push it back is George has been working incredibly hard recently in the run-up to something you may and should have heard of called Hospitality on the Beach, which is happening next week. It's right around the corner. And because of George's amazing video techers and general all-around genus, he's, he's, he's super in demand. So we had to give him a break. And I've got a bit I've got a couple more things to say about George later on the show. I don't want to shoot my shoot my shot right when we're in only in the first sort of like five, ten minutes. If that isn't an incentive to stay tuned, then I don't know what is. The tune playing now is called 600 from an artist called Bacon, if you can believe that. It's on Hyperactivity Music. I would, can't really say if it's out now, but it came to me on the promo list, so thank you guys at Hyperactivity. Feels like it's about 600 degrees in here, George. Come 
tune is something new from Psycon, taken from his new EP on Spearhead, called Something New. Oh, I put my I put my arm up above elbow height there, didn't I, George? I could see it in the reflection. <laughs> um, yeah, aptly named Something New from Psycon, because I don't think we've had anything new from Psycon for a while. I encourage you to check out the EP for Tracker got this and a couple of other nice liquidy bits on and one um, sort of heavier one nice to see comrade back doing some bits yeah so just going back to that um, vision OB album launch party um, thanks to everybody that came down, obviously, on the 3rd of June to the Colour Factory in Hackney. George was there filming, as he usually is, and got some good content. Um, and also, thank you to everybody that visited us at the merch stand. Um, I was doing some very questionable sales tactics and managed to get 20 people to buy solvent key rings. But basically, the George, I don't know if you saw, but the sales pitch went along the lines of, do you live in a house or a flat? And does it have a door on the front of it? And do you open it with a key? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Do you want to buy this key ring? Do you want to not lose your keys while repping your favourite drum and bass label? That... Do you know what? I think... <laughs> yeah, no one could hear what you said, but I think they could guess. Um... I think people probably just bought the key rings just to get away from me. That basically, I was leading them up the garden path to be like, you can buy this key ring to not have me in your face. Exactly. You just got to give people a what's in it for me scenario. Thankfully, they saw sense. But seriously, thank you to all those people that bought key rings. There was a lady there that bought a hat, you know, copies of the album. and see us at the merch stand at Hospitality on the Beach if you missed out. Guessing you know this one as well, George. On, on Critical as well? Of course. This one's NV featuring verbs. Tried to make it work, I was pacing on the curves, never patient, but I've learned it's all adjacent to my worth. Paint and I rehearse on the stage, I disperse all I've made with the words, caught a wave for the worst. Said that I'm a change, but it's blatant, I weren't. Came in the name of what we burnt, spent my days in the dirt, chasing flames in the rain with some stains on my shirt. Partying on these planes, but the pain remains hurt. The life's what you make of it, and me, I take the piss, chain to the aimlessness, I wade and when I blaze a split turn, down one too many. Wrong roads. I was told you live and learn, but I never seem to know. 
how far it all goes In the end it depends where you're really trying to roam Seen many fold, poor Henny for my woes Still step along with plenty but I'm better on my own better, better, better on. Yeah, love this tune This is called Better On My Own Featuring Shiva From MV and Verbs Envy's killing it right now. I can't think of a bad tune that Envy has done in recent times. N colon V. Chilling with my guys, trying to find the pieces to the pictures in my mind. Why dad and blind, still leaning on the highs. Never need a reason, I'll be reaching for the price. Living for the right. Colons, everyone's got one. Trying to find the pieces to the pictures in my mind. Why dad and blind, still leaning on the highs. George just walked in with his dinner and I'm very jealous now. Road, I've seen a lot, still seeking what was lost Dealing with bereavement, but I'm scheming on the block Deeper in the plot, feelings I forgot Once used to keep me eager, now I'm leaving as I cross New avenues, grew up on channel U, standing on the block As a youth, I never had a clue, ganja in my sock Going twos on the camel, which we dabble in a lot I clocked them, the game weren't made for us to win New lost, but we take it on the chin I stay with a grin, radiating any place that I was in In the right Waiting for this race to begin On the chase my whole life But I never came to win Only dice, more time Blowing haze in the wind More life to my guys That ain't never changed It's been case and pavements Praying for those things We never could have Staring at the places that we've been This one is one of those Super secret dub plate specials From the forthcoming Hugh Hardy album Tune's called Suede. Props to George on changing the camera angles whilst he's eating his dinner. The consummate professional, George, there's nothing that can phase you, mate. Right, so back to Hugh Hardy album. We've got it coming on lovely, beautiful, nice, sexy purple vinyl. Um, if you've been tuned into our socials, you would have seen the tasty artwork um, from Sean, Eastern Edge Studios. The kind of glass, sort of like pineapple juice business. There's going to be another single coming out on the 7th of July. Um, and that date is significant for a number of reasons. Obviously, that single's going to be coming out. Um, but we're also going to be having our boat party on that day in Croatia. And if you were there last year in Albania and were lucky enough to be on our boat party, and you'll know how sick a solvent boat party is or can be. And on said boat party, we're going to have Askman Lair, Irie, Vigenobi, Lally, and I think I'm right in saying Everwood. George, thumbs up from George. And I can tell you Vigenobi's doing his DJ set and then he's hosting everybody else on the boat. I think I talked enough over the um, non-released Q Harley tune. This tune is from Catching Cairo, Linguistics and Operate on production. And now on Shogun. The tune's called Without You. And cool music video on YouTube as well, you should go check that out. Tell me. 
now is called M... No, it's not called MKJ. That's the artist. MKJ <laughs> is the artist. And the tune's called Miss You. Speaking of America, Hugh Hardy's just finished, just come back from a tour of the USA. And one of the dates was in Hawaii. He was doing this tour with Phil Favor. And this is tour has been facilitated by Emily and Mel and all the people at Cyber Groove Agency. So big shouts to them for facilitating that. I know Hugh had a great time. He was dropping bits, new bits from the album and telling me how it was all going off. Rewinds, pull-ups, reloads, whatever you want to call them. I'm sure it's going to be much the same in Croatia. Be there or be square. Be there or have mad FOMO, that's basically it, isn't it? Social media FOMO, George, that's what people get. And they see your editing techers on Instagram reels and all sorts. And they'll just be... <laughs> you last week in Glastonbury, yeah. Do you know what? I think I saw, like, watching the Elton John, like, headline thing. They wanted to have to zoom out and have the drone shots. The big, like, spider in the background with the fire going. It's like, I wish I was there. I mean, yeah, and John's great, but it's not drum bass, is it? This is Wayside featuring Macau, taken from the Vision Obi album behind me. And I did mention earlier on in the show, I was going to say a couple of things about George. Um, I don't know if you saw this, George, but a DJ that goes by the name of Psychosis, S-I-K-O-S-I-S on Twitter, um, sent a tweet and he said... Curious dot 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 is the George on the Hospital Records podcast and the George on the Salt Records podcast the same dude? If so, massive props. So that c- encapsulates my feelings on George. Massive props, George. Thanks for helping me all the time here, making me look good, um, papering over the cracks on any of my <laughs> any of my technical failings or mixing failings. Um, and I know people. I've wanted to see you DJing. Certainly one of one of my mates, Tyso, has always, always said, Where's, when's George going to do some DJing? George actually DJed a little bit on the Christmas podcast from last year, the hospital one, didn't you, George? So people, if they could go back to that and um, tune in and see you doing your thing. Because you are um, a fucking good DJ, actually. Because whenever we have like Christmas parties or parties in the office here at Hospital Records, you're always elbowing your way to the front and actually spinning some really good tunes. 
Um, but I have somewhere in my, mo- my notes here, George, I'm going to embarrass you even more. Anybody who's going to Croatia um, and is going to be in Piravac, if I'm saying that right, on the 6th of July, you can see George DJing in the flesh. He's doing a Rise and Shine set, is that right, George? Um, at Hotel Moran, which is 10 minutes drive from Tisno. And it's, I don't, fuck, I don't have the time on here, George. Three till five, see? You love it, you're, 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 we're trying to drum up a crowd for George. So Thursday, 6th of July, three till five. I mean, by that point in the festival, you are, three till five is gonna be rise and shine for people, right? Because the uh, sleep's gonna be pushed out from the jet lag. Is that right, George? <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to see George throwing down some, some rhythm, then you can see him in Hotel Moran. You're suitably embarrassed now, George. Yeah, so big up Psychosis for noticing that, making that little connection. And I remember fondly, George, having a nice conflab with your mum at Printworks and telling her how much of a credit she is to you. You, you are to her. My word's right. I'm too busy trying to do two things at once. This one's 3C Roller from Galaxy. Out now on Shogun. And if you like your drum and bass podcasts that don't have decks in them and stuff, I encourage you to go and check out at the Amen Brother podcast from Man Like Vision Obi, who you were just listening to, and Galaxy, John Galaxy from Galaxy, and also Jack Polar from Polar and Bryson. Amen Brother podcast. They've got some good guests on there and they go deep on some interesting topics. Both drum and bass and non drum and bass topics. And the little interludes between the bits is like a little audio clip of the Amen break. So George, I'll have to relay this for you, but what can people expect from your Rise and Shine set? Soulful liquid for the first hour, yeah. Charlotte will be joining him and they're going, direct quote this, absolute grot for the second hour. So, Consider yourself risen and shone by the time you get into the second hour because you're going to need it. Looking forward to it, mate. So this tune playing now probably wouldn't feature in your second hour. It might feature in the first hour. Yeah, yeah, first hour. This is uh, new from DJ Markey featuring Solar. Tune's called Poetry. Out now on Shogun. Also going to do a few shouts whilst I've got them here. Um, Shouts to Max, who I saw at the Vision Obi album launch. He was there on a stag do with his mates from New Zealand. And... Um, came up to me and said, Mike, can we get uh, the guy that was the stag from the stag do on to do onto the microphone to do some bars or something like that? And of course, we, when CGMC was MCing, big up yourself, Jay. When CGMC was uh, MCing, of course he of course he had to engage with this. So big up to Max and his mate who was there on the stag do. I think pretty sure he was wearing a bucket hat. 
But yeah, good to see you, Max. I actually met his brother when I was in New Zealand earlier this year, so it was nice to make that connection. And I've got a 30th birthday shout for my good friend Jamie, who lives in Nottingham. Sorry I couldn't make your birthday party, mate, but we'll be celebrating soon. This is another one from that Conrad Psycon EP. This tune's called Nomads. I feel like this is a good, good name for this tune. Nice ambient jungle vibe. I feel like, is this one going to feature in your second hour, George? Yeah, the second one. This was going to be another pre, pre-released, unreleased dub special, but because of the aforementioned delay to filming, this one's actually out now. This one's from Man Like Lally. The tune's called Generations. And it's got a grotty bass line for ready for George and Charlotte. Um, in between the Hugh Hardy album campaign, stop it. Um, in 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 between that single campaign, we're squeezing in a Matt Lally EP, which is called the Blue Raz Lemonade EP. After, I'm told, I'm reliably informed, named after a vape flavour. Um, and the the EP is really nice and varied. It's got this grotty banger. It's got a collab with Ascal and Alair on it. Which when you hear it, you're like, oh yeah, Ascal and Alair. Hear that. Um, and then like a couple of liquidy ones as well. Generations caught up, look how things will switch. People they're quick, now they want to move out the bits. Move out the bits. And I'm right in saying that if you want to hear the rest of the other tunes on the EP, we recently had a guest mix from Lally on the Solvent Records show on Cool FM. It came out last Wednesday. So I was there with George 
uh, Heinz, who did a guest mix in the last part of the show. Middle of the show, we had a guest mix from Lally, and then either side of those, we had me and Joe just trying to mix and trying to talk. Um, but yeah, it's really good to be having a regular monthly radio show on the mighty Cool FM. So thanks to everybody at Rinse and Cool for having us there. So, after that seamless mixing, bringing in the next tune, which is actually a bit of a Hugh Hardy throwback tune, because now that Hugh, now that Hugh is one of our signed artists, he's it, probably got the biggest, biggest back cat of all our signed artists, given his previous endeavours. Joe says to me, why not play some more Hugh Hardy on the podcast? And that is something that I can do. This tune is taken from his Shadows and Silhouettes LP. Features the wonderful tones of Simone. The tune's called Raindrops. Some soulful liquid for you, George. This is a new one from BC, Charlotte Haining and Tempser. Out now on Spearhead. The tune's called Pressure.
term pleasure emotionally I'm this one please camera please George yes this one if you watched the aforementioned episode 60 of Salt Records podcast where I sat down with Rich talking about his album we both came to the solid conclusion no echo chamber whatsoever that this is both of our favourite tune on the album the best tune on the album the tune's called Escapologist which you should know by now featuring Asquin and Lair I feel like this one's probably had the most hammer off me in this show the past four five six shows remarkable following no pattern upon the if a planet in this universe has ever given an all yeah seeing rich at his album launch and i'm sure you'll agree george do the djing and the mc and at the same time for like really powerful tunes of his like this was uh, a sight to behold and uh, i got a chance to speak to his family and stuff who were there who, who don't you know they're not like drum bass fans but then they're shocked to see how many people have turned out to see him to launch his album you know really really moving stuff Maybe footsteps are being traced from an ancient culture or for a being billion. So if you didn't make it to that and you are gonna be in Croatia, don't miss out this time, you know what I mean? Call me the escapologist. Couple more shouts in the breakdown. Um got a message from our dear friends uh, Sam and Rochelle who live down in New Zealand. She, Rochelle said she was um, walking around in the Queensgate Mall in Wellington and she just saw some random dude cutting about in his Solvent t shirt. Standard. International, well, prestige worldwide, baby. So, whoever you are, sir, props to you. Um, also, shout outs to. The guy from Jump Up Chronicles, I met randomly at Project Six Project Six Festival last month. Was it? it was about a month ago now, George, yeah, the Project Six Festival. And if you don't know who Jump Up Chronicles is, go on Instagram and search Jump Up Chronicles and find him because it's just really funny jo- jokes about Jump Up. Um, so I met him in person after some back and forth on, uh, on Instagram. So big up to you, Matt. It was a pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to see Aisha, a.k.a. So DMB. It was to be seeing you in Croatia. Um, and finally, just a big shout to the new Mr. and Mrs. Tyso, who got married at the start of this month. Had the pleasure of celebrating with them up in uh, Sheffield at the start of the month. Um, hope you have a very long and happy life together. There you go. George changing camera angles on me. There you go. I'm sure those blown kisses sound lovely down the microphone. Call me the escapologist. So, as I bring this tune in, without seamless mixing, um, sadly it's going to be the last one of episode 61. You'll be thankful to hear, though, that it's a Hugh Hardy remix. Anything Hugh touch, anything this guy touches is just gold, right? If you, yeah, you might recognise this. This is Main Ingredient by London Electricity featuring Leanne Carroll. Taken from the Billion Dollar Gravy remixes. And if you haven't heard this yet, just check out the rattle on this bass when it comes in. Because it's rattly. There's rattlesnakes in Texas that ain't got nothing on this, George. Do you know what I mean? Check that out.
Yeah, I can. I can segue a bit more into the um, Hugh Hardy album because this is one of his remixes. But yeah, there's there's you know features. For, there's a Degs feature on there. You will have heard already the Pavan tune, um, Face Off, and Blush from Zara Kershaw. But there are some features on there from artists you might not expect outside of the drum and bass arena, the drum and bass sphere or scene. And yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be great to be putting out yet another artist album. Feels like we've done a lot of those in quick succession recently, which I'm really proud of, and I know Joe is too. So yeah, thank you for your support to date on all the previous albums, and your forthcoming support on the albums like this one. It'll be coming out very soon. I think I have talked through all my notes. If you can't get enough song records in your life, go search out the uh, monthly show on Cool FM. There's a Rinse FM app and it's on there. You can get that there. Um, how could I forget? We've also, we've also just had on Sunday Just Gone, Ire do a guest mix for us on cool fm so go check out some of the nice nice liquid that he's played on in in that show um see him in croatia in a few days time um, and all the other artists that we've got there see george at hotel moran on the 6th doing his rise and shine set see you on the boat party um yeah the next podcast will be after we've done croatia so Maybe a bit more tan. Don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Lobster red. Yeah, George. That's what George says. Um, as we get to the end of the show, there's only one thing left for me to do. Can I have this camera at the front, George? See you at the beach. <laughs>